Good morning. Uh, we are going to present to you. We have we have made this video to present you the AG2 project. Um, this project was developed uh, by Franklin Martinez and Jesse Abella with the advisory of the teacher Octavio Salcedo from the Distrital University. We developed this project in order to get our bachelor degree from the, from the Distrital University in system engineering. Uh, both we we have we have enrolled we are enrolled in the group in the research group from the Distrital University. Internet Inteligente, the translation in English of Internet Inteligente would be a smart, a smart Internet. And we put the logo of Phosphorus Project because a project developed by this project, uh, we have taken this 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 product uh, this product, and we have used we have used it to like as a base to develop our 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 simulator. Our project is a is composed by a model and a software pro as an and a software product to a software product. Mm, the name of this project is AG2, AG2 which means uh, architecture grid and GMPLS networks. <clears throat> the it's important to know the it's important to know the translation of, of our project. Here is the name in Spanish, but here you have a, an accurate translation in English that would be proposal for architectural model interoperability between GMPLS, a control plane, grid computing services, and network resources. This is this project, the AG2 project was based mainly in this paper developed by mainly by Trishan Halley and with Catherine Scoglio with the advisory of Ian Achilles from the Georgia Institute of Technology. We have taken this approach, we have um, implemented this in the in the model and in the software product and we have modified an addition an addition the um, an approach to Mix this the GMPLS network with the grid with the grid work in with the com, with the grid work computing network. Here you have the address the internet address from the phosphorus project. The product that we have taken from from them are here. You can go to software download. After that, you go to simulation framework for optical grid infrastructure, and you can download here the source simulation framework that that is the base that we have taken and after that we have we have modified and additioned a some other things now now to execute the simulator you just need three things you have you need to have installed no matter what platform is your computer you have you have to have installed in the JRE version 8 of Java in your computer if no matter if your computer if your platform is Ubuntu or Windows or or Apple or Apple and that's the first thing the second thing that you need is have the simulator the executable and the lips both uh, files needs to be in the same folder in order to execute to play the simulator in a console in this case Ubuntu no matter or no matter if if you are working on Windows or Mac you need to open a, a console a console window and write Java minus version to see to watch if you have installed the the JRE version A in your computer. In this in this case, we have installed the Java runtime environment version 1.8, which means that our simulator is going to be executed successfully in this computer. Now the easiest way to execute this is put this in the console in the console window and you need to grant 
uh, you need to grant uh, right permissions to to the simulator because the simulator when the simulator is play is is it's being executed it writes in your hard disk um, a trace of events in a trace of events that what about what is happening in in the simulator you need to write sudo in here in the case of, of Linux is super user you write Java minus jar and execute and well okay you have to write your your super user password and after that in the simulator is executed in the first screen you have you have the about you have the about the screen this is the logo of our project the research the logo of the research group also the phosphorus project and the distrital university in where we have got our bachelor degree in system engineering we close that windows and first of, mainly we are going and now we are going to develop a um, simple scene to in order to show you how you have to design the scenes to uh, to execute the network simulator first of all uh, you here in the left side of your screen you have you have some some set of buttons the first set is the first set are required to execute the simulation and to stop the simulation the second set of buttons you have buttons to manipulate the the scene the scene and the the third the third set of buttons you have entities to create the scene and in, in lastly in this these are a set of buttons uh, what the simulator is going to use to create and to handle the resources of the of the network simulator first we are going to create to create the sim here you create some clients those are clients next you need at least one broker next you need to create at least one pc path computation element next you can put as many routers as you can Opti those are optical routers the different the real difference between a PC with a optical router that is that the PC can do all the things that that a router can do but the PC have a big brain to develop to perform to perform routing task that that is and here in the simulator the PC is an is especially important because it is the responsible to execute to to perform uh, our our proposal because the PC joins the joins the grid control plane with the GMPLS control plane and it develop all the calculations uh, required to join both uh, control planes. Second, you have, and lastly, you have the the cluster. Which are these? Uh, the clients, uh, the clients uh, create some payload, some payload to be processed anywhere. Uh, the broker or the agendador um, ordered or or orders uh, direct the the agenda or directs the this pay, the payload created by the client and forward this to a to a destination the cluster the cluster receives the payload created by the clients and processes it and after processing it, it returns um, an answer who goes through the network to the optical network and give a response to a client imagine that imagine that this node that this client is the CERN for example and creates a lot of of, of, of payload uh, of a, a big payload of information it sends it sends 
it sends this payload across along along the network along the network the cluster receives this this information this payload information and processes it and give an answer to the CERN for example okay we have to continue designing our scene you have to connect the clients with a PC or with a router you can connect a client with any other uh, entity for example with a broker it doesn't have sense in the real life and you can connect this you have to connect all entities to um to a PC or a router next you can join this using the fiber tool for example now once you have designed your scene you have to you can manipulate your scene you have created with this set of, of tools the scene now you can manipulate this scene and you can choose you 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 pick up the the pointer and you can choose you can choose an entity here in the right side uh, you have properties from the device for example the broker the broker the broker has uh, some entities have some features some facets and you can each broker has to be enrolled with a PC here you have you select the broker and you and how we only have one PC you have to choose that that PC now with the pointer you can took and you can move the entities or the fiber uh, how you want here you have a hand to move along the map you have uh, you have tools to increase or to reduce the uh, the zoom of the scene and of course you can eliminate if you choose here you can see how the pointer change when appears the minus symbol you can choose there you can pick up there to erase that identity this is not the case and of course you can put points in the fiber to move to move to move the uh, to move the fiber because this tool was required because you can design a very complex uh, scenes here when you choose when you choose like, all the clients have to be enrolled all the clients need need to be enrolled with our brokers in this case we only have one broker that's why when you choose when you pick up a client you only have one choice to select one broker we have to select one broker one broker and you have here the cluster the cluster needs to be enrolled with a broker this the cluster is going to receive only traffic that comes from the broker selected here and and that 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 is the way how you can design you can design an scene now now you now you need to save your your scene now you can go to save and you choose the uh, you choose you choose the direction where you want to 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 save the file and you say for example uh, basic sm basic basic sm one in the desktop and you save this that's all in this first video in the next video we're going to see how how we can execute well how we play the simulation and how to read results and performance about this see you and have a nice day